In this short video, I'm going to show you the benefits of using integrated e-commerce with your Microsoft ERP solution. In this short demonstration, we are going to be using Dynamics 365 Business Central. We also integrate with NAV, AX and FNO. Just to give you an example of how we integrate into Business Central, we can see that this is our home page. On the top left hand side, we have a web shop option. Once Sana is integrated into Business Central, you will have all functionality here with regards to setup, the control of your web shops, all of your various discounts, mix and match coupon and web shop discount for those who are actually looking for a B2C solution. We also have catalog overview, customer overview and orders overview, all from a quick web shop action within the ERP. If we go through to the items tab at the top of the screen, we will see all of our products that we stock listed within here. If we click in into an example product and scroll down, we will see we have a Sana Commerce option at the bottom of each individual product page. In here, we have the option to decide if this product is going to be visible in the web shop. One of the main benefits of our integrated e-commerce solution is we actually leverage your existing data to power the web store. So all of the information is controlled from the ERP. We have our product SKU, which will come through onto the web store. We have the description. We also have the item attributes that are controlled on the product item card within the ERP. Any images and the documents are all bought through seamlessly without the need for lengthy synchronization processes directly into the front end web store for your customers. We bring through all of the stock information and all of the relevant price information as well. And not only do we just bring through the item card price, we will bring through any user specific pricing. So if you have B2B customers all on different price lists, then this will all be replicated from the ERP solution itself. All this information from this particular item card is all bought through into our Sana admin tool. If we switch over into Sana admin, on the left hand side, we have all of our various settings. In this short demonstration today, I'm not going to go through all of these. What I want to show you is the actual product pages themselves. If we look at our product page on the left hand side, all I've done is just copied the item SKU through from Business Central. And we're going to go and have a look at what that looks like within here. We can now see we have the SKU, the description, as mentioned before, coming through from the ERP. We have the option to edit this particular item so we can further enhance exactly what this looks like on the actual web store itself. So some of these things are greyed out as in the SKU. We can actually put an extended description in here. So you might want advanced descriptions of your products within the ERP. However, you might not think that's necessary. So you can actually come into Sana Admin and put as much detail as you want against your products in here to really help your customers buying decision when they're navigating through your store. We also have various advanced options in here for SEO searches and we can control the media in here as well. So you might want to add maybe short videos or additional high res images in here that you don't necessarily want stored within your ERP. And here you can control what it actually looks like on a desktop so we can control exactly what this page looks like. With our new visual design tool, you can see that next to each individual product page, we can have various controls. I can edit or drag each individual element so I can really choose how this is all put together on the actual web store itself. We can control all of this various information and additional text. But as mentioned before, the business critical data that's come through from the ERP cannot be adjusted. So if I want to change the product description, um, maybe it was a SKU, um, any of this information like pricing, all of this has been bought through. So these are fixed fields, but I can go and add in additional text, additional images you might have. We can add in YouTube videos and advanced descriptions. And as mentioned before, we can fully control exactly what this looks like, including bringing through reviews and mix and match suggestions as well. And all of this is brought through directly into the desktop site. And we also have mobile optimization so we can choose exactly what this looks like when we're um, basically browsing from any mobile device. So let's have a look what that looks like in the store. If we go through to our home page here and actually go and put in the SKU we were just looking at and search that particular product, we will see 
there here is our bike we were looking at and we can see the description is there the SKU is there we can see that it's in stock and again this is fully customizable we're actually showing in stock at the moment you could show low stock depending on parameters you've set or you can set out of stock which again you could allow or deny orders for out of stock products we can see the product has been bought through as dollars which is the item card cost and in here i can just select the product itself and we can see the three images um, that were in the sana admin area have come through again if one particular image is just stored within the erp then that is the image that will be shown all of our reviews have come through and again our SKU, description and price we also support volume discount so if volume discount has been set up within the erp then that can also be pulled through onto the site itself we also support variants so we can go and select the variants from here as well i can purchase multiple products just by clicking the plus and minus and i can choose whether i want to purchase a piece a box or a pack so we basically support however you sell your products right now if we scroll down, we can see the advanced description and the specifications from the product attributes have all been pulled through from the ERP itself, which means if I added in an additional product and it had a new attribute, then I wouldn't need to go and necessarily publish that attribute on the site itself. What would happen is if we go through to our road bike page, for instance, on the left hand side, all of our attributes are brought through for filtering and sorting and searching for products. It's a really, really easy way to navigate the store just by managing that within the ERP itself. The store we're looking at now is very much a B2C setup. We do have the ability to have a closed store, which means for, for those who are selling in trade and mainly through B2B, then they wouldn't be able to access this information. They'd have to register or put in their username and password to actually get access to all this information. As this is an open store, I can browse the store as I see fit. And we can just go and add individual products in as on, as mentioned before you can see we have variant options within here if not we just have a simple add to cart button next to all of our products however this functionality does change when we're actually logged in as a b2b buyer at the top right hand side we have our login area so once we log in as our b2b buyer we will see that this functionality will look different we see the variants are still there. However, we now have a free type box next to the products themselves, because rather than adding one cart, one product to the cart, we might want to add multiple products because we're buying in bulk. What we will also notice when we've logged in is if we just go back to our road bike section, we will see that the price has adjusted from dollars to euros because this particular customer is on a euro price list. We'll also notice the prices will adjust. So depending on the prices the customer is on, they'll know that if they phone you up or if they're sending an email asking for a price or they talk to a sales rep, this is the price that they are gonna get. And this is replicated from the ERP from their price card, which means they can buy with confidence that the information is correct. We can also pull real live stock information. You can decide if you wanna show the stock levels themselves or if you just wanna show the in stock, low stock or out of stock information on there as well. We also have the ability to do customer segmentation. So there might be specific offers that you want to show certain customers or certain customer groups, and you might want to show certain offers to different customer groups. And all of that can be controlled within the SANA admin area. You might also want to show certain products to certain customers and actually hide products from certain customers. And again, with customer segments, we can do that. So we can hide all of the various menu options and products from different types of customers, which really creates a personalized shopping experience. If we go to the top right hand side, we can see I currently have 142 products within the actual shopping cart itself. We can add information directly from the shopping cart as well. So if I want to add additional products from here, for instance, if I knew the SKU code, I could just add that in here. And if we just go and add it, it adding information from here, and I'm just going to add 100 of those to the cart, we can see that the prices have dropped out. And that is because we might have just triggered some additional discount that's set within the ERP. So if I just recalculate and get those current prices, I know that any additional discounts have been applied or sales agreements that might be in place. So I can buy with confidence and know that this is the correct pricing for me. We also have the ability to save as templates and load templates into the shopping cart itself. So if you have customers who do a lot of repeat ordering, they can just go in, add those templates in, adjust the figures, 
it will go back to the ERP, check stock and feed all of that information live directly into the web store itself. We also have the ability to do CSV uploading. So again, if you have customers who have large orders in Excel or CSV templates, they can upload that directly into the shopping cart. It will go back, check that the stock is available, make sure that all the price is updated, and it means they don't have to necessarily navigate the store like a typical B2C consumer would. I can then go and proceed to checkout. And we've embedded a new one-step checkout just to make things nice and quick for B2B buyers. We can just go and deliver to our address. And again, the address information is fixed coming from the ERP itself. And any additional addresses that are stored within there will all be pulled through. We support a number of shipment providers. Um, I'm just going to leave this as standard. Payment information, again, this is B2B, so we have payment on account, which would go straight through. However, we support multiple PSPs. So if you wanted to add in maybe one of ours, like Sana Pay, powered by Agen, or your own, we support all various card methods and payment methods, including things like Google Pay and Klarna. On the right-hand side, we can review the order, check everything's correct. I'm just going to put a reference number in here. Um, I could put in a comment and any comments in there would also be pulled through to the ERP. I'm just going to click pay and then that order has been processed. We can see that has successfully gone through. And now if we just switch back to the ERP itself, what I'm going to do is just go through and show you that order has come through in real time. So if we just go to sales and sales orders, we can now see our order from Frank has come through. If we just click in here, I'm just gonna click edit on the left-hand side to show you that we have full two-way integration between our two solutions. So here are various products in here. If I just go through to line discount, we can see that these have 10% and 20% applied on one line. On the top line here, I'm just gonna apply a 50% discount. And if we just close that sales order, Come back into the store itself and we'll go and have a look at that order page we will see that that 50 percent discount has been applied and that is the real benefit and the power of linking sana commerce directly with your erp we are leveraging all of your business critical data to power the store and we have real-time two-way integration between both solutions one of the benefits of that is what we're looking at right now we're in the My Account section, which you can be accessed on the top right hand side and visiting My Account. In here, customers can view all of their orders and all of their order information. They can have the ability to reorder or download orders as well. So they have all of the information they need, the critical information to track their orders and view all of their orders and see the status all at the click of a button. If you provide quotes, they can see those in here as well and see the status. We can see this one's expired, but if it's ready to order again, all of that information would be in here. They can also get access to their invoices. So within here, they can see all of their invoices and they can see whether or not they've been paid um, or if they're due to be paid. And we have the ability just to pay directly from here. So I could click into an invoice and make a payment. Alternatively, I could just multiple click on invoices from here and then go and pay. We also have the option to do return orders and credit notes and track shipments. So customers can really manage their full account online without having to contact you and ask you all of these questions to your team or send in email requests to find out this information. It's at the touch of their fingertips 24 seven. Due to the fact we're integrated with into the ERP, this doesn't necessarily count for all orders that have just been placed through the web store, for example. Because we're pulling the information from the ERP, they will also have historical data, plus any invoices or orders that might have been placed offline, they can still come into our My Account section and see all of this critical data. So it's really bringing through and replicating the information that's in the ERP itself. If you have salespeople also, then we do have a sales rep functionality. So all we would do is log in as a sales rep, And then when we're logged in at the top right hand side, we have the option to represent a customer. So within here, I can see all of the customers that I look after, and then I can just select the one I'm working with. And in here, I can see full replication of exactly what that customer would see. 
So I could use this as a sales tool remotely via, say, a tablet, and then I can just place orders on behalf of the customer over the phone if I needed to, or if I was going out on site to visit a customer, we can use this as a sales tool, which means I don't need to then have my staff keying in orders manually into the ERP or emailing the team to actually process those. We can work with the customers and do that themselves. They also have access to the My Account section. So if a customer is questioning an order or a shipment, then I can actually log in on behalf of that customer and go and see the information that they can see. So it's a really valuable use as a sales tool. So as you can see, the benefits of the integration between Sana Commerce and your Microsoft ERP is really we are leveraging your existing data to power your web store. Thank you for watching this video. Please get in touch with us if you'd like to know more.